All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.7, uh, problem number one. All right, so we want to find an equation of the tangent line to this given function at uh, 2 comma 4. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so remember that the, whenever you're looking for an equation of a line, uh, we need uh, two pieces of information. And the first one is a point. All right, so I'm going to call this uh, point uh, x1 comma y1, all right, and this is going to be, all right, it's actually given, so we don't have to do any work, so it's a 2 comma 4, all right, then the second piece of information would be the slope, so we have slope, let's call this guy uh, m, all right, so this can be found by taking a derivative of the function, so I'm going to call it the y prime, and then uh, plug in the a value, which is 2 in this case, so plug in 2. All right, so let's find this value. All right, so using the definition, uh, we have, so y prime of 2 would be, all right, so we have a limit as uh, h approaches 0 then you would have uh, f of uh, 2 plus h. So we have, uh, we have to put, uh, every time we see x, we're going to put the quantity 2 plus h. All right, so that's cubed. Uh, minus 3 times uh, 2 plus h. And then you have plus 2. All right. Then you want to subtract uh, f of 2, or y of 2, I should say. So if you plug in 2 here, 2 cubed would be 8, and minus uh, 3 times 2, 6, and plus 2. All right, and then we have uh, all over h. All right, so then we can cancel, at least uh, there's a positive 2 minus 2 there. All right, uh, let's multiply this out. All right, remember that the, when you have, uh, you know, quantity uh, a plus b uh, cubed, then this is going to be uh, a cubed plus 3a squared h plus 3a h squared plus h cubed, right? So I'm going to use that to uh, multiply this out. So we still have limit as uh, h approaches 0, right? Then if you multiply out uh, 2 plus h cubed, all right? So it's going to be 2 cubed, so that will be 8, uh, plus uh, 3 times 2 squared times h, so it's a 3 times 4, so it's a 12h plus 3 times 2 times h squared would be uh, a 6h uh, squared. All right, and the last is h cubed, so plus uh, h cubed. All right, then uh, we want to uh, distribute negative 3 to 2 to h. So we're going to get the um, uh, minus 6 uh, minus uh, 3h. All right, so I'm going to put the minus uh, 8 minus 6. All right, I'll leave it in, in this form over h. All right, then we can cancel. All right, so you have uh, 8 minus 8. We have uh, negative 6 minus negative 6. So they cancel out. Then after that, I guess we need to uh, collect the like terms on top. So you have a limit as uh, h approaches 0. All right. So I'm going to collect, uh, say, x cubed term. So there's only 1 here. So I'm going to put uh, h cubed. Right, and the h squared term, actually there's only one again, so this is only a h squared term, so I'm going to put the 6h squared, 
All right. Then uh, H term, you have a two, a uh, twelve H there, and you have a minus three H. So that's going to give us um, uh, plus nine H. All right. And so I took care of everyone on top. So I'm going to just to shorten this line here. And then it's all over H. All right. Luckily, all three guys have an H in it. So I'm going to factor out the H from the numerator. So here, uh, I'm going to pull H out. Then you're going to get uh, H squared plus uh, 6H plus 9 and all over H. All right. Then we can cancel uh, H on top and H on the bottom. All right. Then we can take the limit. Uh, as uh, H approaches 0, you can see that uh, H squared approaches 0. And the 6H six, six is going to approach 0. So only thing that's left is 9. So this is going to be equal to 9. Right? So we found that slope to be 9. Right? So therefore, uh, we can have an equation. Uh, it's going to be y minus y1, in this case is 4, is equal to and slope came out to be 9 times quantity x minus x1, which is 2. All right? So that is the, um, let's see, uh, equation uh, that, that we're looking for. So let's type it in. All right, so we found that to be uh, y minus 4 equals 9 times x minus 2, right? So let's uh, submit for testing. All right, sorry, I messed it up. <laughs> uh, y is already written here. So what I need to do is I'm going to add 4 to both sides, which means that um, I'm going to have to put the plus 4 at the end here. And then we have to get rid of this uh, equal sign and y because it's already there, right? So let's check that. Submit for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. Oh, so remember, so all I did was um, um, add 4 to both sides so that uh, we have a y equals uh, 9 times x minus 2 uh, plus 4. All right? And it uh, seems like a system takes this answer. Or if you want, uh, you can uh, distribute 9. So you're going to get the 9x. And a 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. Plus 4 would be negative uh, 14. All right. So that's another way to write the answer. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.